the 2012 Valedictorian, Mr. Kenneth Cocasson. Um, I would like to start off by thanking my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, with whom I could not be here today. Thomas, the board, administrators, teachers, parents, and my fellow graduates. Um, it's an honor to stand before you all today and to deliver this address. Because um, some of you may be afraid because we live in an ever-changing world and you may fear the future. Because I'm sure we've all heard that the world is not what it was 30 years ago, or even 20 years ago. Like, as soon as you buy one phone, Apple makes a better one. Uh, Microsoft has gone through XP, Vista, Mojave, and Windows 7 all in the past few years. So the world is not the same. Lucky for us, we weren't born 30 years ago. We were we all, we all born in the 90s, and we grow up in a society that always changes. And we've learned how to adapt and overcome new things. We have advantages that we didn't have before, and then we, we have learned how to learn and how to go with the flow. have we learned English, uh, math, science in the school, but we've learned how to figure things out for ourselves. And these caps, gowns, and tassels prove such. After four years of seemingly, seemingly endless assignments, rising at the crack of dawn, we can all share this moment of celebration and triumph. The class of 2012 has shown an immense character, for we've conducted ourselves with integrity and shown accountability. But most of all, this class has shown perseverance and heart. These are characteristics that will prove vital as we enter college, the military, or the workforce. Uh, this graduation should not be considered an end, but a transition to a new beginning. And we have matured into adults that we're now free to pursue our passions, our dreams, and our destiny. Graduates of 2012, we have left our impression on the school, but now we have a chance to impact the world. God bless America, and thank you for your time. Congratulations to you all.